From above, you could see smoke still hovering in the air along State Road 44 this morning. The second day, firefighters scramble to put out the blaze near DeLand. We've got personnel on the ground. Uh, we've got dozers out there. Conditions today could work against those crews on the ground. So we're a little concerned about the winds and the low relative humidity, but uh, we're going to do our very best to uh, keep that fire contained. The thick smoke shut down State Road 44 overnight, leaving people who work along that stretch waiting for nearly an hour to get by. I asked to get through and they said it was closed and they're going to wait for a visual to actually let us back in. Is there any other way for you to get to work? No. The strategy today, widening those plow lines, hoping to narrow down the flammable material on the ground. If they can't do that, the fire could impact drivers on I-4 through the weekend. The county issued a burn ban overnight. Authorities now warning residents to take it seriously. I've heard reports of people throwing out cigarettes or parking a car on the side of the road and catches the grass on fire. Well, it is extremely dry out there in these conditions right now and it doesn't take much. As the efforts to contain this fire continue, officials here in Volusia County say they haven't decided yet just how long that burn ban will last, but they're now also considering adding a ban on setting off fireworks. Reporting in Volusia County, Hadass Brown, West 2 News.